can't wait to see what she finds there. Hispanic Heritage Month is a great time to celebrate the histories, the cultures, the contributions of those with Hispanic heritage. And we know the culinary contributions are great. Our friend Ariel Turner, professional foodie with all things food and bev, has a rundown of some restaurants, restaurantes magnificos, rather, um, <laughs> that, that we ought to try, right? Yes, so many good places. And I'm going to start out with something very polarizing. You ready for this? Okay, lay it on me. Tacos belong on corn tortillas only. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. I mean, I don't like to make rules about right. delicious foods, but right. yeah. No, I mean, like, and I want people to understand these places that I'm going to recommend. You might be able to find a flour tortilla for certain things, mm -hmm. but to go really authentic, you got to go with the corn. Go with the corn, and it makes yes. you feel good about how many tacos you're going to yeah, eat, too. It's lighter. <laughs> um, you say Viva Villa Mexican Grill is throwing a party this weekend. Yes. The Greenville location is 929 South Main Street, others yep. in Malden Duncan, all of them? Um, so downtown mm -hmm. is the party. So okay. Friday night, they're throwing a... Hispanic Heritage Party and let me just give a recommendation for folks when you get that the menu it is a giant menu and there's a lot of standards that you'll see on there that you're used to seeing at other Mexican restaurants but flip the page all the way to the back and you'll see the authentic Mexican offerings and that's where you should order okay. street tacos that mocojete that was just shown that's like a big pot of stewed hot meat those sopes on the screen right now which is just a corn basically like a corn patty with toppings on top of it you'll find those there you can also get some really great margaritas there so again party time fantastic but flip all the way to the back of that menu to find the really authentic items well and i like that they you know they create this yes. section because if you really want to try understand the heart right. and soul of this restaurant you try that exactly if you're with they the kids looking to cover right. some stuff with cheese you Options right. Let's too. be accessible to people, but okay. also let's give options. Perfect. And yeah. then over at Empanadas and Salsa on Pendleton Street in West Village, Greenville, they're celebrating their one year anniversary yes. this week. Good time to stop in and exactly. say hi. Exactly. One year anniversary on Saturday, so they're doing kind of like an all day party. But Colombian empanadas are different than some of the other ones we're used to. They're corn and they're crispy. And mm -hmm. they're so brightly colored and beautiful and tasty. And so when wow. you. And here's the thing if you haven't tried those before, we're talking like a $2 investment for one. So Try several of them. You're not breaking the bank on it, and this gives you an opportunity to try something maybe you haven't had before. And so I know people get hesitant about trying new things sometimes because the cost. This is not a $150 tomahawk steak. This is like a $2 little right. pastry. <laughs> and there's nothing in here that's going to throw you except for right. the quality casing that you can actually exactly. hand a kid and, and you can eat yes, clean. Yes, there's <laughs> cheese, chicken, beef, yeah. you know, guava and cream cheese if you want a stuff you like. Delicious, really delicious. Really delicious. And then you say people love Cucho's Taco Grill. Yes. Uh, 3111 North Pleasantburg Drive. They, they do that with the traditional and the contemporary Mexican recipes. And they yes. have a drive through They which have is cool. a drive through which is amazing. So you can go there and get birria tacos, traditional birria tacos, which is that stewed beef that's kind of like our version of pot roast, but better. I'll just mm -hmm. say it's better. It's okay <laughs> and then to you say. get melted cheese on there. But yeah, you can get that in the drive through too if you're just, you know, really wanting some authentic Mexican, but you need something fast. They will, they will handle it for you. But really, really delicious food. Family run. You're going to get a variety of things there. They do things, you know, fries and hamburgers too for people who want something maybe that's a little less adventurous. But I, again, I'm going to push people to try yeah. the corn tortillas, try the taco, the street tacos that might not be what you're used to picking up at like, you know, our favorite chain restaurants. Right. <laughs> but fun looking spot. The food yes. looks fantastic. It's Just whatever so, experience you so want. Good. Yes. Um, and then finally, a new place of uh, Viva Tacos and Bria in the Lake Forest Shopping Center, North Pleasant Burg Drive. That's open till midnight. It's open till midnight every single night, which is mm -hmm. amazing if in case you're looking for a late night eat, but also really, really simple environment, but they they hand you that they serve all of their tacos on these metal trays and we ordered like one of everything. So there you go. That's my favorite picture of myself uh, ever. With you look all so happy. Those. I was so happy to be handed this tray <laughs> oh, wow. of tacos. And again, a wide variety of options. They do birria in a variety of different ways that maybe some other restaurants don't. So this is another great place to try something new, tr you know, yeah. order a few things and then you've got plenty of options. And if you don't like it, that's okay. It's very that affordable. <laughs> well, I just love that food makes you so happy. Yes. <laughs> you come here and spread our joy, and I think we're all better for it. So thank you for that. Well, uh, I hope so. <laughs> those options. You are always discovering the places, writing about them in On the Grid Greenville, and uh, anybody watching can follow Ariel on social media, find out where her social media, where her adventures are taking her, what restaurants we want to try out next. All that information is on screen now.